All right, we have this Mercano by American Eco Living. This is their Acropolis outdoor side table. Let's unbox this, put it together, and check it out. So the box is pretty simple to undo. I'm gonna go ahead and break the, the tape off of the edges with our knife here. There we go, flip this bad dog right over and take the top right off. Everything you need right in here. Put your handy dandy screws and Allen wrenches. Got your assembly instructions. Go check that out before you put it together. Everything is packaged perfect. So pretty happy with that. Gonna go ahead and just take this right off. This is gonna be the top. Perfect top. Really nice and durable. Put that to the side. Next, we're gonna grab our leg here. I'm gonna go ahead and just peel, peel this styrofoam wrapping off. Cut that off right there. We're gonna go ahead and put these aside. We're gonna put the leg over here. And then underneath, right here, we have the base. Now, this is pretty heavy, so be careful when you're getting this out. And that's nice and heavy because it's gonna help keep the table from tipping over. So let's go ahead and move some of the, remove some of this styrofoam. And if we just lift this up, again, remember be very careful. Pop it straight out, and there you go. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this box to the side. I'm gonna put the bottom off to the side, and we're gonna go ahead and go through the top. We're gonna assemble this from the top down. Let's go ahead and grab our top. Grab your center beam, put it on where those holes go. Grab your assembly kit. Everything you need is right in here. Let me go put this to the side. Go ahead and open this guy up. And drop your screw on the ground. So there's three long screws. These are gonna go on the bottom. You're not gonna need these right away. Inside the bag, you're gonna have your short screws and some washers and your Allen wrench. You're gonna need those four screws and four washers for the top part. Let's go ahead and get those out right now. All right, so you're gonna have two Allen wrenches, the big one, and that's for the second step. That's for the bottom. We're gonna go in and get the smaller one. When I say that, the big one, the small one. So go ahead and line this up, grab your washer, grab your screw, go ahead and get that started going in there as much as you can. Go on ahead and get the other ones. I'm gonna go ahead and use my fingers to get them hand tight, and then we'll go ahead and grab that Allen wrench and get them nice and snugged up. Now that they're pretty snugged up, we're gonna go ahead and grab our Allen wrench and just get them the rest of the way tight. When we're making them tight. We don't want to crank on them because we don't want to break those threads. Just get them nice and snug. That's all you need to do. Now that we have those four bolts in, we're going to go to the bottom. In this case, we're going to go to the top, but it's actually going to be the bottom. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So grab your bottom. Remember, be careful. This is the heaviest part. It's a big weight. And then we're going to grab our last screws. Then we're going to grab our Allen wrench. Go ahead and put that guy on the top, line up those holes. Go ahead and get the screws going right in. 
first one might be the hardest. Wasn't that difficult. Go ahead and find the other ones. Again, get them in as much as you can with your hand. Go ahead and grab your Allen wrench and just go ahead and spin them in. That's it. Let's go ahead and flip this guy over. Now what you can do is grab your favorite drink, pop it right on there while you build the rest of your stuff or while you're chilling outside.